So here we are holding probably the best phone Xiaomi has released for 2021 and I'm talking about the Mi 11 Ultra. This one definitely is a very, very beastly phone with beastly specs. And right now we're going to unbox this phone and tell you my experience three weeks after. So let's quickly unbox the Mi 11 Ultra. Here we have a big thick box which says Mi 11 Ultra with easy access to Google Apps you use the most. And well, no fancy prints. So other than the 11 logo out there, we have a small little sleeve here which says Xiaomi and designed by Xiaomi. So opening, we have your SIM ejector pin. Inside, we have the Type-C to audio jack connector since we don't have any audio jack anymore. We have here the user guide and the warranty card. How can we forget the ultra cool uh, clear jelly case which is matte finish from the inside and smooth on the outside. This one is quite a surprise. We have a uh, film screen protector over here which is, well, I haven't really seen one in any of the Xiaomi packages ever since. Pulling the tab out, we have the Mi 11 Ultra which is quite a bit heavy at 230 plus grams. Uh, we have here the, well, popular protruded camera of the Mi 11 Ultra. Of course, how can we forget the USB Type-C cable as well as the 67 watts charger. We have the star of the show, the Mi 11 Ultra, so we'll be peeling the film off. This is probably my favorite part of unboxing, definitely is peeling the film off. So let's boot it up while we take a little tour. So we have underneath uh, the SIM tray which can support 2 nano SIM, 2 5G SIMs of course, uh, Type-C uh, port, microphone in, and your loudspeaker. On the other side we have of course your power button and of course your volume rocker. On top we have your uh, Harman Kardon uh, second speaker or your steer speaker your nurse cancellation mic and your IR blaster and pretty clear on the other side. We have your triple camera set up at the back which is quite protruded which we'll discuss a little bit more later of course the screen display nevertheless which is pretty cool. Underneath we have the Xiaomi logo and of course the 5G logo down there and here we have your ultra nice screen. So yeah, we've seen the review of all of your favorite tech YouTuber on the Mi 11 Ultra and yeah, I can say all of them are surprised that it's good and the camera is big as everyone said. But for me, I'm going to share you my experience of this phone three weeks after. By the way, I'm Richmond and welcome back to my channel. Right now, let's run down some quick specs of this phone. It has a Snapdragon 888 uh, chipset which is a 5G chip. Then together, it also has a 6.81 AMOLED display. 120 hertz of screen refresh rate and of course 480 hertz of touch sampling rate. It also is protected with the Corning Gorilla Victus uh, front and of course ceramic back. Then definitely it's uh, aluminum frames. Then the triple camera setup, you have the 50 MP uh, aperture 2.0 uh, which is its uh, wide sensor. Then together with the 48 MP periscope telephoto lens and the 48 MP ultra wide lens. Then up front, it's a 20 MP shooter. Then what I like about this one is the Harman Kardon steer speaker together with a Bluetooth 5.2 uh, in-screen fingerprint scanner, 5,000 milliampere hours of battery plus a 67 watts of fast charging, of course, together with a wireless fast charging at 67 watts. It also comes in two colors, either go for the cosmic white or the cosmic black. I've been using this phone for roughly three weeks and to my surprise, it's at first it's a little bit heavy, at 234 grams, which I can say that it's, yeah, really heavy. Uh, of course, probably one of the heaviest phone that I've ever touched is a Mi Mix 1, which is definitely heavy, uh, ceramic back, and of course, quite, quite heavy. And you need to turn the phone upside down just to take a selfie, if you remember that. I've been doing a lot of multitasking on this phone on a daily basis, and for sure, it did not fail me. 
and Antutu gave it a score of 803,000 points, which for me is quite a good score on Antutu. I can say that this phone probably survived everything that I threw at it, be it gaming, be it uh, editing of videos here on this phone, be it taking teleconferencing call, name it, it can handle it. And probably one of the best thing that I love from the Mi 11 Ultra definitely is the screen. It has a 1,700 nits, which is the highest in the industry, of course, topping out uh, Samsung's 1,500 nits of the Galaxy S21 Ultra. For me, this one display it better, display it brighter. And of course, the definition is better at 10-bit colors, which Samsung can only produce 8. I've turned on the 120Hz screen refresh rate on this phone during the three weeks of my usage. As I can say, uh, the display is good, it's smooth, especially when I'm browsing. Uh, it's, it's definitely 120Hz, but when I'm viewing uh, some videos, it automatically turns back to 60. And of course, on some gaming experience, I can say some did went up to 120, some just stay stuck at 60, which I cannot explain why. Now, talking more about the screen, I've come to notice that this phone has a quad curved screen. It is curved on the sides, on the left and right, and it's also curved on the sides, on the up and down. Definitely giving you better gesture when you're swiping up or you're swiping down from the top. It feels smoother without those edge. When I'm using my Mi 10 Ultra, I kind of feel that my fingers stuck a little bit swiping down. But this time around, I can say that, well, definitely it's a lot smoother. Now, one of the main features of this phone, probably that is quite a little bit overlooked, is the IP68 rating on this phone. It has a dust resistance and water resistance up to 1.5 meters and 30 minutes of resistance. So I did take this phone for a little splash. Take a look. So guys, we'll do a quick water test on the Mi 11 Ultra. And right now we'll dip it down to the pool, then we'll see the oleophobic coating on its uh, back case and of course on the screen. Then right now we'll dip it just like that. Okay, so you can see it just sink. Then we'll take it out of the water. You can see, well, there's so very few water droplets left on the back case. It means the oleophobic uh, is really, really working. Uh, the coating is good. So right now, let's check the screen. Let's see if it's working. And it's working just fine. And really, the Mi 11 Ultra just survived the water dipping test. Well, I'm happy to say that what you see on commercial can be done on actual. And another thing that is quite fun during my three weeks of usage is definitely the screen at the back. If you remember the Mi Band 5, it's the same uh, display being slapped at the back beside the camera modules. And it can display the time. It can also display some codes if you want. Or you can display some selfie pictures of yourself. Now, another purpose of this one is for you to be able to take some pictures of yourself using the three rear cameras. Take note, the three rear cameras. Either you can use the ultra wide mode, you can use the wide mode, and of course you can use the telephoto mode, which you can zoom and see the craters of your face. Just kidding. Now with all those cameras at the back, which is so nice taking selfie pictures, I wonder why there is still a camera up front. The 20MP camera up front is, well, taking some so-so camera pictures 
uh, as compared, of course, to the rear ones, which are really, really jaw-dropping. And of course, right now, let's run down some photos that I've taken uh, using this phone. Now, during my three weeks of usage, I can say that I've taken quite a number of pictures and I, uh, taking some outdoor shots, it's really nice, it's vivid, and taking it a little bit indoors, I can say that those camera shots are quite good. I can say that, of course, uh, this Mi 11 Ultra has one of the largest sensors on smartphone today, of course, uh, being ranked at number one for DxO Mark, well, as of press time, it's the best camera that's available for smartphone this year. And definitely Xiaomi did not disappoint us here and I was able to take really, really nice shots and I was blown away with the color definition, especially taking some zoom photos out there is, I can say it's really good. And of course, 120 times zoom is quite useless since you cannot really see the clarity of the pictures, probably up to 60 times zoom, it's still good. the privilege of testing out the camera of the Mi 11 Ultra and based on what I see right now on my screen it's really nice it's really vivid and it's really punchy and yeah turning around trying to see if the lighting will change while I try to change the, the direction of my camera well it did try to uh, pick up the lights better than any other smartphone in this industry and yeah I can see that it's really a very very vlog worthy camera to have this 2021 what do you think another thing that I like from this camera is it was able to take some cinematic videos it's really really nice of course applying some filters or movie effects on this one makes it a lot lot better so I did try to take some videos using the front camera uh, doing some vlog mode and well it's nice but of course I do expect more so I did try to use the rear camera trying to take some videos but I can't I'm not sure why Xiaomi has limited it uh, just only to take some photos but 
videos. Uh -uh. I hope that they would improve on that on future updates. Now, this camera is not only limited to point and shoot. It can do some night modes. It can do some short videos. It can do some long exposure, super moon, or of course, multicam. And probably one of the more noteworthy features on this phone is the Harman Kardon speaker. Xiaomi has collaborated with Harman Kardon to make good steer speakers on this phone. I was able to watch a lot of movies here and definitely during the day, it has good display, of course. Uh, nevertheless, I want some good sounds. And the uh, speakers on this phone quite delivers and firing, firing from the left and right when I'm using on landscape mode, it gives me that surround sound which is clear, crisp, and of course, uh, as loud as I want it to be. Now this phone comes packed with a Bluetooth 5.1 together with a in-screen fingerprint scanner, which is very, very responsive. Take a look. Well, quite fast. Xiaomi promises that this phone can charge up to 67 watts and based on my watt meter that I charged this phone, it reached roughly around 63, if I'm correct. And of course, uh, draining it down to 18% and charging it back up to 100, it takes me roughly 40 minutes, which is not as fast as Xiaomi has advertised for charging as fast as 36 minutes, which is, well, quite amazing, but of course, Maybe if it's the Mi 10 Ultra charging at 120 watts, it's probably possible. I was able to charge this one wirelessly using the 55 watts uh, wireless charger from Xiaomi and it maxed out at 50 based on what the screen says. Probably one of the best news from this phone, it can withstand 12 hours and 28 minutes of screen on time based on uh, this battery stress test from PC Mark. Uh, based on my three weeks experience using this phone, I can say that uh, on an average normal usage with uh, social media and some using some YouTube, some gaming, and of course, uh, some teleconferencing, I can last myself up to, let's say, three-fourths of the day before I hit the charging dock. Let's just say when I start 8 in the morning, I roughly should charge at around 3 or 4 in the afternoon. That's of course based on daily usage. Like they say, with great powers come great usage. And this phone should be put to test on gaming because it has a Snapdragon 888. So putting to test on Call of Duty, I can say the gameplay is really nice. Though all I can say that the placement of the camera at the back is well a little bit iffy uh, if you're coming out from those normal cameras which is not so protruded as compared to this one. I can suggest that you really need to get a little bit used to it because of the protruded camera which is really really protruded uh, to be able to play the game properly. Of course at first I was a little bit uh, off target. Uh, playing Call of Duty, but after well, re after one week of playing, I can say that well, I've catch up and playing on this phone is definitely nice. The display is nice. That's one. That one is I cannot really deny. It's really nice. The sounds is really crisp, and the gunshots are really really loud. For the gameplay, I can say that this game is really really nice. Roughly, I cannot see any frame drops uh, based on, well, three weeks of playing this game. Of course, the 6.81 inch of screen display is giving me a big display view of the battlefield. It's giving me a better edge compared to my enemies. Now, playing Genshin Impact, I can say that this game is really nice. It's immersive, the display is nice on this one, and of course, this one being a little bit more graphics intense, uh, switching it all the way to an overclock setting or probably the best setting that's available on this phone uh, it gives me that really immersive experience wanting to play this game more and more and probably roughly playing for three or four hours on this game uh, before I turn it off because it's really heating up a little bit at the back of course I would suggest that you buy a game cooler to bring the temperature down to normal. So guys, I'm sharing my three weeks experience using the Mi 11 Ultra. For me, I had a nice time with it and it's really, really something. And I can say that it's one of the best, probably one of the best for the first half of 2021, unless somebody comes up with a better one to beat this one. So what's your favorite feature of the Mi 11 Ultra? Share it on the comment section below. And of course, if you like this video, don't forget to like, subscribe, and of course, click that bell icon so you don't miss any future videos from this channel. And I'm Mitch 002 and I hope to see you on the next one.